This is a U.S.-China media brief produced by the UCLA Asian American Studies Center. The U.S.-China media brief features interviews with experts and other prominent individuals involved in studying and documenting the dynamic and ever-evolving relationship between the United States of America and the People's Republic of China. I'm Russell Leong, director of the U.S.-China media brief of the UCLA Asian American Studies Center. Our purpose is to provide a more balanced view of U.S.-China relations for the U.S. media through our media brief and website. I think, I think those are very good points. History, a historical viewpoint, and looking at things in proportion to not only the past, but to numbers, to, to yeah. many like dissidents and intellectuals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so let me ask you a question, because uh, I'm basically in, in literature. Uh, many times uh, in the West, uh, of course, uh, we tend to just view China in terms of uh, 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 economy, currency, uh, and so forth. And I was wondering, as an intellectual uh, yourself, uh, do you think that uh, what role can philosophy, uh, literature, the arts, uh, culture, can they play <coughs> in modern China, uh, in China today, and also in helping to uh, uh, better U.S.-China relations. Is there really a role for these type of uh, uh, pursuits and these type of uh, thinking and activities? Well, I think uh, for Chinese uh, uh, society and uh, the cultural environment, uh, they would certainly, uh, these things would certainly play the role there philosophy and literature and these things would would play the role there. Uh, for example, uh, you know that is the uh, uh, in the 1980s we have for a period of time you have a lot of writings about sh uh, showing the, the, the wounds of the past uh, and that played a role there. Uh, so this will be very useful. And China now, actually, is not that they don't play a role, but we need them to play a role, but they fail to play uh, a bigger role there, uh, because people are uh, too money-oriented, in a sense, uh, not paying enough attention to all these things. So there is a sort of a, a vacuum uh, in cultural environment in people's mindset uh, that is uh, uh, so gradually I think they will play an even more uh, a greater role in forming the kind of proper atmosphere for the growth of uh, the healthy growth of a society uh, this is very very important as to I mean uh, the role it plays in uh, U.S.-China relations, I think it's a, a more subtle uh, sort of thing. But that the thing is, uh, the introduction of really good contemporary Chinese society sort of uh, uh, novels, drama, these things to the United States. So it would be very useful because that will help people th see that the Chinese, especially those who have never gone out of their country, uh, would help them see that the Chinese would not steal the long pigtail, uh, long nail, that sort of uh, picture uh, 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 of the turn of the 20th century. Uh, now this will be very useful, just like the good earth played a role there, and, uh, and these would be the things. Especially, for example, uh, in dealing with China, I think uh, a picture of Shanghai would certainly be important. But a picture of the northwestern rural area, the poverty that still exists today, would also be important. Because that will tell people that why we think that it would take, say, 50 years, 100 years for we to catch up. Now, that is the basis. That is the basis. And once you know that, I think it will also lessen 
the kind of fear that China is coming behind and is catching up. The sort of uh, fear uh, because relations cannot be built on fear. Right, right. No, I agree. Uh, it takes uh, many factors, uh, uh, many kind of look at many dimensions in order to create this balance, both for in terms of uh, understanding, especially uh, uh, in the West. And I hope that uh, in the future we can uh, figure out a way to work together uh, on, you know, on, on small projects or, or larger ones uh, in order to uh, accomplish this goal. Yeah. So uh, thank you, uh, Professor May, for yeah, your time. <laughs> that's, that's <it. laughs> the preceding copyrighted program is a property of the University of California, Los Angeles, all rights reserved. It may be used freely for educational and not-for-profit activities. For other uses or to make an inquiry, please contact the Asian American Studies Center at UCLA.